will start from the micro stack thread. So under the action of the loading, the micro thread will be produced to the new thread and it will cause the complete failure of the structure. So generally the structure which is, which is RCC. Let's say this is a beam. This beam. This beam. It is supported by the columns. Under the action of the load, it is not like point. It is not like that under the action of the load, it collapses suddenly. But if it is as made from the Of load, it will be a load of water. So, tracks will produce some tracks will produce here, some here, right? It is because it is formed by reinforcement, yes, reinforcement, right? So, under the action of the loading, it will give it will show small tracks, right? So, if the more load is applied to the design load, then it will try to collapse. See, in the, in the case of earthquake, also load of warnings produced in the structures right if the earthquake is drastic very high magnitude of earthquake Hello. then only building will, sudden, building will suddenly collapse otherwise you will find load of cracks in somewhere here somewhere here right somewhere here right even though so many research centers is there in the India to predict the earthquake but this is unfortunately the magnitude is very high, so that's why somewhere it will cause a severe problem. Right? So to study the performance of the structure under the effect of loading under the tracks is very important. Right? So basically the failure of the concrete structure is mainly due to large scale. In the small gate tracking. If you have seen the cracks in your homes also, cracks in the wall somewhere, sometimes you have seen the cracks here also, right? That won't affect the strength. If you see the minute crack has been produced here also, right? So this is the normal cracks which won't affect, but the cracks is, is in between these columns or in the beams because these are the main load carrying elements. The slab load is directly applied to these beams, then the beam load is transferred to this slab. These are just partition loads, right? Like you have seen this one. That I think this home was built later on after the construction of this building. So that's why this wall is made from very thin, thin structure. Uh, this is made, maybe this is from the some form, some something different is there. It's not from the bricks, right? So. These are not the main load carrying members. Load carrying members are these beams as well as this one. Right? So we always ensure that if there should be some minute cracks. The crack width should be 3 mm up to 3 mm only. Right? Otherwise if the crack is more, then you have to rectify it. Either you need to add some material here, you need to do the sampling, right? Right, so that is required. So initial drags are present in the matrix. So initially drags will be in the matrix. So any concrete structure is like this. It will have the aggregates. Aggregate means bajri. Then this is the paste of cement and mortar. Right. Initially cracks will start from here. Then if the load is further, high load is applied, then it will start from the aggregates. Right. So if we have the high strength aggregate, then again it will provide more resistance against the failure. Right? So large cracking zones and the formation of the large fracture before the maximum load is reached, that is the major cause of the failure. So initially if the cracks are present in the matrix, then in the matrix, then in the matrix aggregate interface. So further if you apply the high load, then it only the aggregates will break. Right? So this is the area of the cracks, it will appear. So basically the crack will start from the matrix, then it will start from the 
then it will transfer to the interface of matrix and matrix and aggregate then it will collapse the structure so fracture mechanics is the field theory which uses the energy criteria with strength criteria right so fracture energy plays an important role in the fracture mechanics of the concrete so fracture energy is defined as the amount of energy absorbed to create a unit area of crack see whenever we apply the load to any structure see this is the load once the load will form structure will show some later deformation like this this is the initial stage of the beam under the action of the loading like this it will start little deformation right now the role of air will come we are here right so it will show you the deformation in the structure right initial deformation in the structure so by that you can get lot of the warnings now is many health monitoring system is there health monitoring of bridges also right so in the health monitoring what we do is we fix the some sensors sensor over the beams over the columns right so these sensor will give the deflection this is the very common sensor which we have in surgery and vdt linear vernier displacement parameter right so what everybody will do let's say this is the beam bulk of surface of the beam right it will compress the vdt so that is connected to the wire with data transmission it will give the deflection means initial se nirbhi ek tarah se deflect kar gaya hai chahiye right so once the deflection achieve the permissible deflection if it is more than permissible deflection then alarm will be produced alarm is right then you have to vacate that so structure in that case right so basically up to this the energy has been absorbed right energy has been absorbed by this this beam like this if i try to break this so what i will do apply the load till some load it will absorb by absorb the energy so there is the this thing only this is the fracture energy so it will absorb the energy when the load is higher then its strength it will try to show the cracks then the complete collapse of the structure will produce so same way the cracks width if it is less than 1 then it is called as thin cracks if it is 1 to 2 mm it is called as medium if it is more than 2 mm it is called as wide right say step but if the medium cracks is is also there then again there is a fear of collapse of the structure see in this case agar yahan crack kiya jata hai so there won't be any issue but agar isi beam ke beech mein koi crack ho start ho gaya right so being a civil engineer we will be think we are in the same but the normal log hote hain to itne ab bhi crack pe bhi darte ki structure can collapse structure can collapse in that right so either we need to rectify you need to fix some layers of fiber in post polymer ya to complete your change karna padega theek hai so this is the important study which every engineer has to perform before designing the structure so cracks can produce in the st structure due to the moisture change right for example let's say some bending is there this is the columns columns are support are placed on the soil this is some slab is there beam is there over this beam slab is there right so let's say this is the soil this is the soil right if the this brick masonry this column absorb the moisture or let's say under this soil the moisture is there theek hai usse kya hoga ki soil jo iski bearing capacity soil ki that will be reduced soil jo reaction provide kar rahi hai the bearing capacity of this soil will reduce usse kya hai ki 
ये जो फूटिंग है हमारी फाउंडेशन दैट विल सेट एंड डाउन राइट सेट एंड डाउन करने से क्या होगा कि जहां क्रैक्स आने स्टार्ट हो जाएंगे इन द स्ट्रक्चर राइट सो दिस इज द मेजर कॉज ऑफ द फेलियर ऑफ द मतलब क्रैक्स इन द स्ट्रक्चर ड्यू टू मॉइस्चर सो देयर कैन बी क्रैक्स ड्यू टू थर्मल वेरिएशन आल्सो So sometimes cracks appear before hardening, and sometimes cracks appear after hardening. Right? Plastic shrinkage and cracking is also there. Breeding means when the excess water will come out of the structure, that will also take out the cement along with the water. Right? So that will cause the shrinkage crack. So you may have seen the cracks in the walls also, which diagonal type is such cracks or that. आफ्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन आल्सो मींस जब ये दीवारें सूख जाती हैं उसके बाद जो प्लास्टर होता है प्लास्टर में भी क्रैक्स होता है सो दे इज अ नो हार्म इन दैट क्रैक वो क्रैक आएगा ही आएगा can appear to the segregation of this aggregate also right so as you know the concrete is made from aggregate that is bajri leta and cement right so if this aggregate came out from the concrete structure right so in that case also the cracks will start or during mixing also if the aggregate is separated out then there will be only mortar in the structure so that will cause the failure of the structure